dear friends today we are going to talk about a very very significant component of professional development of teachers and research related to education for sustainable development by practitioner teacher researchers and teacher educators in this context we shall understand the nature and scope of critical science paradigm in educational research as a background as we know in research we adopt different scientific and qualitative means to theorize the phenomena and to apply our understanding in solving problems but critical science research is of very different nature it becomes a basis for action of the participants and community members the stakeholders as catalyst to bring transformation in our life system rather than understanding a structured knowledge system and applying it so through action we go for transformation so the action of people is in practice through the process of empowerment that the ideas of the people planning and executing and learning from experiences that becomes the basis for transformation and research highlights the people's learning to reduce their illusion and ignorance as we study it in the context of emancipation of the downtrodden classes as has been talked by polo prairie in the research and education and all so the researcher following critical science paradigm involves people in the process of social inquiry the people are not just passive respondents of filling in the questionnaire or conducting a test by the researcher on them rather the people on whom research being conducted they participate in the research process so it becomes a practitioner researcher for exploring alternative paths and building new social relations so this is the fundamental base of action research as we understand by action research we see it in a very narrow sense that we take a program for one period experiment and see that how this program achieved its goal so in action research based on critical science inquiry it is a practical approach for professional inquiry in any social situations by teachers by educational administrators by educational policy makers and planners so action research is emancipatory in nature the researchers are not external to the world rather people who live in society and community they conduct research to bring reforms in life and 
develop practical knowledge to develop their own abilities to create their own knowledge system. Action research takes place when a practitioner wishes to improve his understanding of his practice. Dear friends, when we talk about professional development practices, we are hinting at to learn from our experiences. And such experience will lead to empowerment of practitioners and formation of knowledge about the reforms and transformation on different teaching learning practices. The professionals like managers, policy makers, teachers, counselors, the administrators, they conduct studies to solve critical problems they face on day-to-day -day life for bringing transformations in teaching learning practices, in educational management practices, and building quality environment in education system. In this orientation, action research in education has different processes to improve the practice, the improvement of understanding of practice and improving the situation which the practice takes place. So, action research is practice-based research rather than knowledge-based research. It is based on practices and the practices leads to knowledge development. Action research in social science bridges the gap between research and social action to him in action research. Those who are being studied, they participate in action research rather than being playing the role of the respondents as passive participants. They incorporate the ordinary and popular knowledge system and focus on power with a goal of empowerment, empowerment of individual and empowerment of society. They seek to raise consciousness and develop people awareness of people and try to directly with social action. So in this context, action research has two major roles, that is action leading to social action and it is a kind of activism in our profession and our life. There are two types of action research. One is a practical action research, another is of participatory action research. Practical action research is conducted by teachers, parents, students and even counselors to see how their action will lead to improve their quality learning and quality school practices. The participatory action research is of a different orientation that is related to social action and empowerment and transformation. So our teaching community as a whole, the community of learners and stakeholders, they are oriented and they emphasize on research for emancipation of their life and to bring transformation in educational system as a whole. So it is a very broad concept leading to social activism and activism leading to professionalism. Now, if we see these two types of research, they lead to common thing is that the research is collaborative in nature, it is not individual orientation, the teachers, the respondents, stakeholders, those who are beneficiaries, they participate in research for their empowerment, self-development and self-determination. They counter the monopoly of an external researcher in educational research. 
so there is no external and internal all people who participate in teaching learning system they conduct research to make the practices quality oriented and it promotes inclusiveness there is no differentiation between researcher and researchable the research expertise and the followers or adopters of research findings so it promotes voluntary participation of teacher researchers it integrates practice based knowledge by professional researchers the teachers and students as action researchers so there are two types of <coughs> research here is teacher centric research where teacher conducts research to bring improvement his own practices and the learner centric action research where the learners are engaged in action research practices for improvement of their own knowledge and competency so as the teacher trainees when we are engaged in conducting action research project for bringing change in our own competency and improvement in our own knowledge so teacher and student centric action research they merged in development of professionalism and development of knowledge values and our competency let us see what are the characteristics of action research action research promotes knowledge democracy knowledge democracy means the knowledge system is inclusive in nature there is no expertise and there is no researcher who dominates the knowledge development process and there is no discrimination between knowledge developers and knowledge followers so here everybody who is engaged in teaching learning practice is contributing towards enrichment of knowledge and no, uh, practice system and leading to sustainable development action research promotes indigenous knowledge base in solving problems it doesn't depend on the centralization or the guidelines which are developed at the highest research institutions to be followed by the school teachers rather the school teachers the teacher trainees and teacher educators follow indigenous practices of day to day life and integrate it with solution of problems and knowledge generation there are general characteristics of action research in education it is conducted by the practitioners as i said it is change prone it is leading to transformation it is insightful every researcher makes use of his own insight metacognitive potentials to solve problems and it is critically reflective in nature and knowledge base is grounded in practices rather than practices following the knowledge base knowledge emerges through practices and experiences it is participatory in nature because the subjects are the researchers it encourages practitioners to become knowledge makers so the teachers and those people who are involved in teacher development practices we contribute to knowledge development in education discipline rather than knowledge users let us see what are different paths followed in action research there are four components they are put as we plan our action to solve the problems and to achieve the goals and objectives in the context of quality education and inclusive practices in teaching and learning so the planning phase is based on our day to day experiences second is when we plan 
that what are different alternatives and what are best alternatives to be adapted to solve problems, we put it into action. So a researcher makes intervention to solve problems in real school situation and these actions are linked with the experiences on day-to-day -day basis. So action and experiencing the action and to collect our experiences related data becomes an integral part of second phase. Now, we collect and gather information on day-to-day -day basis, on every action, and analyzing those experiences on the basis of continuous observations at our own institution, inside classroom practices, outside classroom practices, that becomes the data-based inquiry in action research. Next, on the basis of such data-based inquiry, we analyze, we reflect, we evaluate, we assess our own experience-based interventions and analyze that where are we lagging behind and what next step to be done to bring further improvements and transformations. So that becomes a spiral process. Hence, if you see the outer periphery of these four components, it is we first plan our action, we plan the research, how data will be collected, from which means and how best the strategies of research will be formulated. We implement our action, we monitor our action, and we collect data on the basis of our experiences and interventions, noticing different behavioral changes and learning from such experiences, producing database inquiry systems. And fourth one is, we analyze those data by adapting quantitative and qualitative processes of inquiry and we reflect on our action and we review that what has been done, how best it has been done and what is left out and how we will improve our action further. So, this fourth part, the evaluation part, will lead to further action, so there is no stop of research, so it becomes a continuous journey in research. Now, if you see the steps of action research, the process in action research as has been identified by the social science researchers, it involves eight stages. One is the problem identification, second is preparing a draft or proposal after discussion with our colleagues and students and experts and administrators. Third is we review the existing literature. The literature means referring to others' experiences as have been reported in journals, the action research reports produced by action researchers and we refer those materials in solving our problems and preparing action plan. We formulate the action hypothesis in the context of our own problem following the indigenous path of analysis. Fifth one, we prepare suitable research design including sampling, nature of treatment, methods and materials incorporating qualitative and quantitative approaches as we have discussed 
in the context of mixed method design will go for different tools of collection of data criteria and measures data gathering procedures etc now we go for evaluation procedures of progress in action that intervention taken place in real classroom situations then the seventh one is that we will have to make interventions and we monitor the process of intervention and we collect data on continuous basis the data will be of qualitative experiential nature insightful nature as well as quantitative in nature suiting to the objectives of our study the eighth phase is we collect data we analyze data we interpret data and we evaluate the project that what is achieved and what is not achieved which practice has been fruitful and which practice needs further improvement so the eighth stage will lead to the second phase of action research that is again going for problem identification so it is a cycle which continues for action research as i said in action research we go for mixed method design where survey research can be conducted we can conduct experimentations we can conduct quasi experimentations we can go for observations participant observation based study we can go for qualitative studies on the basis of interviews we can go for researches of longitudinal nature we can go for case studies so if you see action research study there is no specific research design meant for action research it goes for multiple research designs in action research how teacher is considered as a researcher here we go for repetitions of the cycle where a teacher conducts his studies on continuous basis by prolonged engagement persistent observation of his behavior experience with the process and a teacher triangulates data the experiences gained through different contexts and data gathered from different sources and integrating them and triangulating those data member checking means we go for examining the authenticity and success of data based inquiry by involving our own colleagues and participants in checking the authenticity of our research participant debriefing the research teacher researcher debriefs others that what has been gained what has been not gained and what is yet to be gained so that is it. and there are also diverse case analysis and referential adequacy that is because we link our own practices with others experiences and practices we review it and then we leave it to the expert for analyzing the efficiency and effectiveness of our research work so the action research when we say that it is a secondary type of research that is not a relevant issue here what is relevant here is that how to empower teachers how to bring change in our system and how to emancipate our own learning experiences and to bring quality movements as a part and parcel of education system that is the motto of action research rather than knowledge based theory based research and applying it in classroom action research is linked with continuous professional development of teachers so professionalism and professional qualities are to be nurtured through action research continuous efforts are made by 
the teacher practitioners and teacher educators to improve our classroom practice and teacher training practices at pre-service teacher education stage as well as in-service teacher development stage. While conducting action research, teachers and teacher educators get dual benefits. What are those? Now one is to bring change in education practice, to bring change in our teaching learning practice. And second is to bring improvements in students' learning. So it is practice-oriented research as well as output-oriented research. Second point here is that to improve teachers' own competency, teacher educators' own competency through our experiences in dealing with critical situations of the real classrooms. By improving educational practices, we as teachers and teacher educators, we empower ourselves. Hence, action research becomes a tool of teacher empowerment and empowerment of teacher researchers. What are different objectives of professional development of teachers in the context of education for sustainable development? The first part here is that to develop knowledge directly concerning the classroom and school situation on continuous basis. It is not that we have got a BA degree or MA degree or MA education degree and PhD, our research is over. So it is a continuous process. The teacher researcher continuously develop knowledge system in the context of teaching learning practices taking place in classroom and outside classroom and school system. We promote reflecting teaching learning system and the capabilities of the teacher researchers for critical reflection and empowerment. The third part of professional development is that it is the professionalism where we share our experiences of research with our colleagues and that contributes to development of professionalism and such professional forums are organized by our professional bodies in the form of seminars, conferences and international level conventions. So, these are different dimensions of professional development practices. There are different professional development projects. The teachers at different grades may focus on projects concerning sustainable development goals and particularly in the context of quality education as a key feature of goal number four of sustainable development, insisting on quality, inclusiveness and equity. Development of environmental awareness is a major focus of teacher development and environmental education as I discussed about the research in the area of environmental study. Second part of professional development is empowerment of community members and adolescents on gender equity and danger disparity. So gender disparity that exists in our society is to be overcome by educational practices. So the professional teachers must adopt different experience-based strategies to resolve different conflicts at local level, at regional level, at national level. Different teachers' competency on inclusive classroom teaching learning practices they need to be developed through action research practices. And how to engage learners in cooperative learning projects that should be undertaken as an action research project by teachers. Next part is learners' participation in multicultural and ethnic issues through different games and literary activities 
to be the focus of action research by professional teachers. How to harness technology interventions in preserving ecosystems, the indigenous knowledge base and indigenous technology to be linked with modern technology base for preserving our ecosystem and it requires school community interface by our teachers. The constructive learning practices for inculcation of humanitarian values, the peace, harmony, fraternity, justice and respect for inclusive society and coexistence of people with the outer world and promoting the environmental ethics among them. Awareness of cleanliness drive, Swachh Bharat Yojana. Awareness drive among students, parents, teachers and community members for healthy life and for well-being of people. Multidisciplinary approach to develop environmental ethics. So, the teachers at school stage should overcome the restrictions imposed by a knowledge-oriented, content-based teaching to multidisciplinary, practical approach to solve the environmental problems and to develop environmental ethics among children, among parents, and among community members. How children's participatory management in school projects can be a part of our institutional ethos. These are different areas on which we can undertake projects on action research. Dear friends, we can link our experiences and our endeavors for improving our practices and how to link our experiences grain from our own practices may be the basis of knowledge generation and empowerment of teachers leading to professionalism and professional development. That is the main goal of sustainable development and quality education movement of sustainable development goals. Thank you very much.